Hi guys, welcome to another one of our DIY how-to videos. And today's video I'm going to be showing you how to cut the head rail, the metal bit and the slats on the blind that's a little bit too big for the window. Right, so I've got a 210cm blind and my window is 206cm. What you do, you take off 206, 210 equally at each end. So at this end I need to take 2cm off and at the other end I need to take 2cm off. Yeah, this is for the head rail. Equally, uh, we'll do the head rail first. So tools you're going to need, you're going to need some masking tape, I'll show you why in a minute. You're going to need, uh, ideally, a T-square, a utility knife, a pencil, a hacksaw, doesn't have to be as big as a junior hacksaw, or if you're fortunate like we are, an angle grinder with a nice fine blade on it. A junior hacksaw would... It would, do. would work, yeah. You need, if you've got a long blind like this, you need something to hold this still. So what's the uh, procedure? Well, you need to score. If you come in here now, you need to score that because this is aluminium with your T-square. So you get a nice clean line to cut with. Most blinds come with these plastic ends in of some description. They do pull out. If this is away from your cut line, leave it in because it gives it some rigidity when you're cutting it. Yeah, so you need that. Obviously, tape measure measuring up. Right, masking tape. So we basically just want to pull these away from this without damaging them. And that's the easiest way that I find to do it. It's, it's simple and just repeat that down the bottom at the top. Yeah. So we've marked our end up. Now we're going to cut it. You might, if you want to, deburr the edges. It's entirely up to you. Let it cool down a minute if you've used an angle grinder and you push your plastic tip back in. So you'd repeat this process at the other end. Just make sure you clear all your mechanisms and everything like that. So that's that end done. Right, so now we've got slats that are too long. Okay. So you need to buy one of these. This is how it comes. It's a universal blind slat cutter, 25mm. And basically you pull that out, and I don't know if you can see that there, it goes all the way down to 20mm right in there. We need 20mm so we push that all the way in and simply you do, you push these in there, literally fits in there and you go down and you chop. It's as simple as that, just chops it there, you can see how you do it. In there, push down, and that will cut it. Yep. Probably do that in the second video, and you go along all your slats. But then, just just double check when double you can't bits. Yeah. So twenty is normally all the way pushed in. It says it on there. Test it on a piece of cardboard if you're not sure. Here at the bottom, we've got head, uh, a, a base rail. The process for cutting this is exactly the same as for cutting that. Yeah. Yeah. And that's basically how you alter your uh, blinds, in essence. So as I say, re recap, the reason why we're doing this is because we've got a oversized blind for the window. We've had to buy a bigger blind for that size window. That's just how it is. We've cut the head rail down, minus to each end where it's too big. And then we've got to cut these slats with that special cutter. And this needs a trim as well. And this has got a thing in it as well. These are about six, seven pounds. I've probably got two or three somewhere. But like we just couldn't find them. Um, Amazon, you can't get them cheaper. I've used this one, for this style, for years, and that's why I went for it again. It wasn't the most expensive, it was mid range, but I know they're reliable and they'll cut what I needed to cut. Anyway, if that's helped you uh, move along, put your blind up, can you help us move along and subscribe to our channel, please? Thanks for watching, and I hope this helps you. Thanks for watching.